Hi, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week and you're ready for another video. This week we're gonna talk about something that I really, 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 um, I'm really excited uh, about, which is um, another supersonic aircraft. Are you ready? So let's talk. And let's start our supersonic flight. <laughs> Here we go. So if you are an aviation lover and if you are on my generation, uh, you certainly remember of the beautiful Concorde flying through the skies. Um, she was noisy, but she was beautiful and she was fast. <laughs> um, unfortunately, after a terrible disaster in uh, France, where a Concorde crashed uh, shortly after taking off, uh, killing dozens of passengers, um, the, the aircraft went in decline and boat operators, that was British Airways and Air France, decided to retire them altogether and the aircraft has, hasn't been operating for decades. So for aviation lovers, um, we kind of went into a decline because we had uh, the supersonic aircraft that could fly really fast uh, and all this and out of a sudden this aircraft is retired and the new aircraft, aircraft that came after that that was the Airbus uh, A380 and uh, the Boeing uh, Dreamliner uh, both of them they they brought a lot of innovation they they brought a lot of good things but they were not supersonic they, the speed wasn't there so um, there was this lack, this, this um, nostalgia about it uh, that we all actually, uh, if you really love aviation, uh, that we all had. Um, when are we going to have uh, another Concorde? And uh, recently it was announced that um, United Airlines uh, had signed an agreement with a company called Boom Supersonic. Um, for um, the, the delivery of um, initially 15 uh, aircraft. Overture is the name of this aircraft, this supersonic aircraft. Um, and uh, they also said that if everything goes well and uh, all the research, all the safety um, uh, measures and everything in place really um, are up to their standards, the airline could extend this to another extra 35 aircraft. Um, this is really good news for all of you <laughs> that love aircraft and love aviation. Um, but there's more, there's more about this aircraft that is actually extremely uh, positive news is that this aircraft and I must say Unlike the Concorde, this aircraft will be the first carbon zero aircraft because it is optimized to run 100% on SAP, so that is sustainable uh, aircraft fuel. So this is great news. It was um, announced in a press release by the airline and obviously it's uh, very welcome news. Um, we we just want this to be a, a success and having this sort of aircraft again in the air because obviously is something that uh, we uh, we would love not only for obviously the aviation lover aspect of it but also because um the quicker we can travel the, the better you know it's like for example i can think if, if um, these aircraft could could uh, fly long distances such as long london sydney and could cut the the, the trip uh, dramatically that would be a plus because a lot of people and obviously uh, the then the affordability would also have to come into place because that's that was something that happened with the Concorde that was uh, setting it back for for these to 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 achieve sustainability and and to be um, a successful venture which I hope it is 
uh, it needs to be cost effective and obviously uh, also needs to be um, the noise needs needs to be reduced dramatically because we all know that the Concord was extremely noisy and um, for today's standards it would be uh, definitely uh, quite unacceptable. So uh, there is a lot of things that need to to be addressed. I think all these factors are indeed being addressed because everyone knows what went wrong with the Concorde, everybody knows how expensive it was to run, um, obviously the, the issue of, of the environment as well, running the Concorde today would be totally impossible because apart from the expenses it would be the pollution and all that. Um, and if we can have a supersonic aircraft that actually has a carbon foot no carbon footprint up whatsoever it's, it's just carbon zero that would be like a dream come true <laughs> for all of us and i think that it, that would be a great idea it, i i must admit i'm i'm way more excited about the prospect of a supersonic aircraft and i was extremely excited when i read this press new uh, this uh, press release from United Airlines. Then when I read about the space traveling, because this is something that I would definitely love trying whilst space traveling is something that definitely I wouldn't go. So I think this is a good thing, but again, they need to look at the, the errors from the past and they need to look at what was wrong with the Concorde, the noise, um, the expenses, it was extremely expensive to run, uh, the price of, a, of a, a ticket on the Concorde was extremely high and obviously um, today, in today's world, um, things need to be affordable and it needs to reach more people for it to be uh, obviously profitable and that, that what was wrong with the Concorde it was it became extremely uh, expensive and it wasn't profitable at all because even for business trips and yeah, uh, extremely rich business people would pay for a trip in the Concorde. But then again, um, a lot of business people would just not do that because it was extremely expensive. So, and then the environmental part of it, Concorde was not very environmental. Uh, environmentally friendly, I'm sorry, um, but again, it was a different era, it was a different mentality back then, we are now uh, in a different world, and I'm certainly extremely excited about this project, I hope United Airlines and um, Boom uh, Supersonic uh, really uh, achieve their goal and put these uh, birds outside, put them flying, because it will be a very, very, very exciting time for aviation. And that's all for today. I hope you really liked um, our uh, talk this week. I hope you are as excited as I am about this um, and you are already uh, waiting for uh, the overture to come by your hometown. Uh, um, I definitely uh, will be. <laughs> um, but if you have any um, any experiences, if you are one of the lucky ones who have experienced a flight in the Concorde, please share. I would love to hear from you. And or if you are one of uh, those like me who are um, you know dreaming about trying the overture. Um, share as well because I think it's important that we all share our experiences and um, and we all uh, can dream about uh, this thing because I, I'm really excited. I think it's a really good thing. Um, before I go, uh, I would like to tell you, put a like, <laughs> you know, the YouTube algorithm, the whole story. and. And subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a talk every week. Before I go, I would like to thank you all for watching and I would like 
also to remind you, um, I will leave the link for uh, United Airlines uh, press release so you can read everything about um, this contract with um, Boom Supersonic and read everything about the overture. Um, once again, before I go, I would like to wish you all a very good week. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.